Need passage between Auradon and Grotwood? I have a deal with some privateers. They'll take us across the lane free of charge. Say the word and I'll row us out to meet them. I am desperate.
Perhaps it grew tired of wandering and is resting. Or perhaps it has always been thus. Whatever the answer, it now marks the center of the dominion. Surprise me. Say something intelligent. Haven is free of pirates. Looks like General Endare kicked them out. Hail. Shalador found you. Good to see you again. I've deciphered the spell inside the book. Are you prepared for Sheogorath's first test? Excellent. It's been fascinating to work with Shalador. Even though he can't read the book, he's been an invaluable resource. I had to decipher layers upon layers of meaning hidden within the tome. Yes, speak with the Archmage. He's meditating on the challenges ahead. I'm still somewhat drained from my effort, so he'll open the portals to the Shivering Isles for you. Auriel, watch your steps. I'm very excited about this project. Chalador's Sanctuary would be a boon to every mage in Tamriel. Even Guildmaster Vanus approves of our work here. Not much. We tried to scry into oblivion to get a sense of the place. I couldn't see anything, but I was swept up in a strong sense of homesickness. I came of age where most High Elves do, the beautiful green shores of the Somerset Isles. I often think of the pink petals and soft breezes of my own land. I'm not sure why those memories return to me today, though. Hello. The brazier is ready. The Lost prepared it precisely, according to my instructions, of course. We're having trouble opening a portal directly there, so we created this anchor to help us. Some trickery of Sheogorath's, no doubt. The next time around, I'm sure this won't be an issue. Ah, right on time. Welcome back. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that... Shalidor person, correct? Just a moment, mortal. Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items. 
items you must recover. A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. I'd say, at your leisure, mortal. But I expect I have more time ahead of me than you do. My lord is certain he lost his utensil somewhere in Skyrim. It was during a visit to his friend Korthor in Vuldengrav. That was during the Marithic era, I believe. <clears throat> My lord visited with Korthor a very, very, very long time ago. Really? What do they teach mortals these days? It's an heirloom. My lord is quite fond of it. Has a bit of magic around it too, I think. I don't know. I don't question Lord Sheogorath. The fork excites and synergizes magicka around it. When held in the hand of someone more notable than yourself, it can produce dramatic results. In your hand, it might be suitable for conveying roast beef to your mouth. This place is known as Voldengrave, the final resting place of Kortor, the Dragon Priest. Tread carefully. Where there are Dragon Priests, there are sure to be Draugr. No, not to Voldengrave. But Skyrim is littered with ruins like this. Leftovers from the age when dragons and their priests ruled my people. In my younger days, adventuring across the holds, I plundered many of these dank little tombs. Dragon Priest's Tomb. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the Fork is here as well. set up an ice barrier. Hmm. That chest. Perhaps the fork is in there. from me, Crick, Both, Akrin. Ah, Kortor is away. My priests will make quick work of you. Lot Dinuki. The shadows move, Adept. Watch yourself. Eyes to the sky. Another group. No matter. Come, face me.
There. The ice barrier is down. We can get through. There you are. time, shall we? Hmm, I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive, even. Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of desert sand. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, a formidable warrior in his day. That was over a thousand years ago, but still. As I expected. Another resting place for the dead. Shea Gorath has a sick sense of humor. This is the necropolis, Asakala. The resting place of Prince Malil, also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. They crafted magical seals to guard his resting place. Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here? Their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. Here, I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. They should unlock these scarab seals on the statues nearby. I'll need to consider the other two. 
This place is incredible. The ancient Red Guards were a noble and accomplished people. What can I tell you, Adept? Alakir is under attack. A necromantic cult has disrupted the normal ebb and flow of life and death. The dead that once served Malil are now a way into his tomb. You need only to be near them to collect them. My spell will keep the essence tied to you until you're ready to deposit it within the statue. Just remember, you'll only be able to collect four at a time. What sort of archmage would I be if I didn't? I spent my mortal life seeking knowledge of all things, not just magic. Yokudan, or as you know them, Redguard, culture is no exception. If Valast was here, I'm sure she could tell you the same. one of the scarab seals. Good. Who now dares more disturb more. my slumber? into the other seal. You'll never best my generals. For such a superstitious, mage-hating people, this place is a work of art. Have you observed the sand barriers on those passages in the canyon walls? I suspect the Prince's generals may be waiting within. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. Very simple, Adept. The seals at the basis of those statues show a scorpion and a spider. Those were the spirit totems claimed by Malil's chief generals, Sadina and Rashomta. You should have the scorpion seal at its base. A lucky feat, mortal. The staff is still mine. Oh, 
My life for my leader. The statue will be marked with the spider seal. The crystals hum with power. Go to the center. You should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. Insect, you will never hold the staff. Never. The staff is mine. <laughs> I guess Haskell will be waiting outside. Let's go. Another successful retrieval, I see. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord would have a word with you. Good to see you too, mortal, I guess. Wonderful! I'll just take... <gasps> Forky. Oh, I've missed you so much, Forky. Let's never, never be parted again. Oh, it gives me goosebumps just to hold it in my hand again. <laughs> ah, the Wabajack. Malil held it down in that dusty tube for so long. Say... Why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand, 
and use it on some of these holier-than-thou temper types. Ah, no need to worry, you pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. The unrecognized essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the... Look, you want the book? Whack some folks with the Wabajack! but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'll be needing that back now. And as promised, Devok. But go ahead, once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tabriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> uh, no? oh. Simply hold your breath, close your eyes, and count to... Uh, let's say a million. you've returned. Do you have the second book? Excellent. The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter? That's quite a title. I'll begin my research immediately. Can't wait to get to it. destructive power imbued in a staff of quality is enough to make a difference on any battlefield. Imagine an entire army hurling bolts and blankets of fire, frost, or lightning. Majestic.
The raw destructive power imbued in a staff of quality is enough to make a difference on any battlefield. Imagine an entire army hurling bolts and blankets of fire, frost, or lightning. Majestic. If you need my assistance, I shall need to know the nature of your emergency. It was something I saw this morning. On the scroll, perhaps? Have you found the one I asked you to look for? I know, I know. I'll keep looking. Jode, Mako, Jejota, 